fuck it. Let's let's finish this game. Let's let's put a final. I don't even know what I'm saying anymore. Let's just fucking show off the extras and be done with this stupid piece of crap. <sighs> so, we've got a few unlock points to use. Twenty-seven thousand to be exact, and we're gonna use that on some cheat codes. So uh, we got some cheat codes here. Actually, before I do that, I want to unlock some extras as well. Cause there's a lot of extra stuff, like storyboards, apparently. We just unlock all that. Take a look at these first before we go on to the uh, cheat codes. So I literally don't know what any of this shit is. So, let's see what we got here. Leading car crashes. Player tries a sharp turn. Player slides, slides, and die, die, die. What is this fucking anime shit? Or manga shit? Some in interesting storyboards for this. Big, hmm. Hmm. Shit's interesting. Oh, I can't read that. Oh, okay. I still can't read that. Cut to rear car. Cut to code driver's face. Three, two. Go to the car. I can't fucking read that. I'm sorry. Alternative GUI. Oh, officially dangerous. Actually, you know what? This looks nice. Lord engine sound cheats. That was a uh, four. No, it's not for the title sequence. Because the title sequence is just like... I can't even tell you what it is. You'd have to look up the video. Okay. Old uh, options menu. That looks really weird. I don't like it. Car designs. Ooh. Hey, look. It's all the cars, including the extreme ones. Well, it's... Some of them. Most of them. Here's the uh, O30. Is that is this the O37? Yeah, it is. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Can't even see the whole thing. I'm guessing this is a concept design, I think? Maybe? Officially. <laughs> Complete this course, you're illegally skilled. Some concept art. Interesting. Mm hmm. We. Oui. Sploosh. World editor. Oh Jesus! What the fuck? What? What is this Sony Vegas timeline? Holy shit! WRC. Editor. Ah. All right. Interesting. This is pretty neat. And then finally, a photo of the development team. Look at all of them. First four games are better. But hey, at least they tried. So that's pretty cool. Some cool extra content. There's also some cars I think I need to unlock, right? Yeah. I, I uh, still need to unlock the concept car, so let's just do that. Apparently there's only three of them. Do that real quick. Stretch frame of a school yearbook photo of all the teachers. <laughs> yes. I guess I could unlock all the stages as well to use in like single stage mode. But first let's unlock this cheat. So we have motion blur. All right. I'm not going to do the car unlock because I already have all the cars unlocked. So why would I need to do that? Uh, low gravity. No damage. Okay. Psychedelic sky. Ooh. All reveals on. Don't actually know what that means. Fuck it. Helium co driver. Oh boy. Top down camera. Oh boy. Oh, world unlock. Unlock all the stages. Alright. And cross eyed co driver. 
Oh boy. Looks like we got some interesting things to fuck with, and just because I can, I'm just gonna activate or buy the car unlock. I think I still have enough points to unlock all the stages, so. 100 points for all stage 2, which would equal 1600, and then 200 points for each stage 3, which would equal 3200 points. Hey, look, unlike WRC4, I actually had enough points to unlock everything at the end. Cool. One, two, three, funk. All right. Well, let's see what these cheats are all about. Also, damn it, it's like WRC4. I'm going to only have one active at once. Okay, fine. So I guess we're going to start with um, Motion Blur, which is going to... <coughs> it's probably going to look bad because Motion Blur. So let's just let's go into a single stage. I want to... At least show off the concept cars while I'm at it. So we have the Ford Focus RS concept. 300 horsepower. Pretty standard stuff, honestly. Oh, I actually drive as the Ford drivers. Cool. Uh, where do we want to go? really doesn't matter, but, you know, whatever. Actually, let's go to uh, Germany, because I want to do an asshole stage. Fuck it. Jokes on you have already shat my pants. Oh, okay. Pretty much thunder. Pretty much. Oh, I can already see the motion blur, and I already hate it. Oh, I hate it. Oh, God, I hate it. This car looks cool. Yeah, I, I too hate this. It's a 6 speed. Uninstall this. I'm at least gonna do this first sector. Okay, yeah, enough of that. No more. No more, no more. No more. This is what 100 cups of coffee is like. God, I hope not. For people who drink coffee. Okay, get out of here. Car unlocks, just unlock all the cars. Low gravity. Where can we go that has... Hmm. You know what, fuck it. I'm just gonna do quick race and have the game give me whatever. As long as there's any elevation, it'd be all right. Should have went skiing, actually. No, we don't want to know. Yeah, yeah, shut up. Let's just. Oh, that's a wall. All right. Oh, here we go. Oh, hell yeah. <laughs> we. He should like you, boy. Oh god. I, I have become one of the trees. Also, yeah, it's impossible to put actually get grip. Alright, well, low grab actually is like, oh god. Pretty cool. Hydrogen filled chassis. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's a lunar exploration. Alright, that was neat. What else we got here? No, no damage. Meh. Psychedelic. I'm ready. Psychedelic sky. This better be good. This better be real. This better fucking take epilepsy. I'm gonna be upset. I, I don't actually want that to happen. LSD gameplay, hell yeah. Oh, oh, yup. It's exactly what I thought it was going to be. Oh no, the ground is moving too. Oh fuck. So we got the Disco Sky and we also have the, uh, the fucking conveyor ground. 
There's a better look. Oh man. Hey look, it's like I'm moving, except I'm not. What are you doing? I'm appreciating this, that's what I'm doing. <laughs> LSD Dream Emulator, yeah. That's pretty cool. Let's continue. Woo. Land, yeah, landslide. Just constant landslide. Alright, what we got next? All reveals on. I don't know what that is. It's probably nothing. But I'm gonna go into a stage just to see if it like affects anything here. Probably tripping balls. I mean, so would I. I should probably also drive some of the other uh, concept cars. <laughs> so what if? Yes. All right. I see nothing different. I think that was just like an unlock thing. I'm not sure. Or uncensored sponsors. <laughs> that would be interesting. Actually, there is one way we can find this out. Possibly. Fuck it. I actually have no idea. Might as well give it a shot. Other than that, I actually don't know what this is. It, I, it might be an unlock. I don't. I don't know. Something. The more you listen. Probably. So it's probably a, like uh, to unlock something. Yeah, it's not an uncensoring thing. All right. Whatever. I'm guessing it was an unlock thing, considering it, I think it costs more points than all the other like actual cheat like fuck with things codes or stuffs. So, oh well. Ooh, helium co-driver is next. Oh boy. This ought to be interesting. Alright, so. Let's just drive our next concept. The Subaru B95C. 400 horsepower. Eh? Interesting. Oh, look at that. It's got the, the frickin'... Okay. This is a car. Uh, it'd be better if it had a wing. Also, if the cockpit wasn't, like, center of the car. Like, if the cockpit was, like, back a little bit, it'd look better. In my opinion. Nice Alpine, yeah. <laughs> they have a Fisker grill. Second Subaru concept. Unless you're thinking about the extreme Impreza. Let's try and keep it on the road this time, yeah? I forgot which cheetah unlocked. Ready? Oh, is it faster? Yep, it's faster. All right. They pitch shifted him to by making his voice faster. All right. Then just pitch shift. Wow, this thing understeers like a motherfucker. This thing actually handles like garbage. Pretty fast, though. Hate this stage. <laughs> Hate this beat stage. Oh, God. 
Oh, I know what I need. I want him to scream, break, break, with the helium voice. Get to like a tight turn. Here we go. I can't believe you just did that. <laughs> Alright, that was good. Uh, that was good. Alright, so that Subaru handled like a bag of dicks. I don't want to drive that ever again. What's next? Oh, top-down camera. Okay. So, it's it's Micro Machines time. Are you ready? I'm sure this is going to be just as unplayable as it was in 4 because you, I, don't, I don't know where I'm going. Man's really out there eating soup. Yes. Go. Oh, yep. Yeah. It's just like fours. Alright. So it's like a fixed position. It doesn't actually follow the car. Oh, I'm stuck. Can't remember when Grand Theft Auto was from this fucking vantage point. I. Yeah, this is unplayable. Uh, oh no! Uh, we've lost power steering. Um, don't cut. Don't, don't cut what? Rocks outside. <laughs> what do you mean? Oh, oh. 300. Engine is very upset. GTA 3? No, not GTA 3. GTA 1 and 2. Same camera angle. Oh. Alright, time to go dipping. Oh man, I can't go that far. Okay. That was hard. <laughs> that was hard as fuck. <laughs> I don't know, Keenan. I'm scared. Okay, what's next? Uh, world unlock. I guess that just unlocks all the stages. Oh, we're already at our last one. Cross-eyed co-driver. Oh god. My mother is my sister. Oops, I did not want to go to Rally Cross, son of a bitch. Again. Alright, what else we got here? Pojo 307 Berlini? Berlin? This just looks like a standard car. This isn't even a rally car, it's just a car. 180 BHP. Front wheel drive, 0 to 60 in less than 50, 15 seconds, maybe. This is just... I mean, it's got the, the rally fixings with the, the harness and the seats and the roll cage, but... Other than that, this is just a, this is just a normal car. This is just a normal 307. Let's go to Spain, because I want to go to Spain. Alright, cross-eyed co-driver, what you got for me? Yeah, this is Grunholm's Daily. The crowd around here tend to stray onto the tracks and watch out. Ready! I'm gonna guess this is just reads rights as left and lefts as rights. Yep. But even the the actual notes are uh, backwards. Okay. So yeah, cross side is just lefts or rights and vice versa, both from the co-driver and also visually. This feels very much like a car. <laughs> yes, I am. Unfortunately. Oh god. Shit show finally over. Almost. 
I'm gonna give my like final thoughts as I drive the last concept car. Two right. It's a left, you dummy. Yeah, these are pretty cool, but just like WC4, it's disappointing that you can't have more than one active at a time. Because that was like the best part of like WC1 and 2. So you have multiple cheats active at once, which gave me the amazing, you know, video, the, the funkiest rally video. Yes, Angel. Alright, I think you guys get the gist. Okay. Well, I guess that's one thing left to do, and that's show off the final concept car. And uh, give my final thoughts in this game. You can probably guess what my thoughts are, considering the experience I've had with this fucking game. Oh. So yeah, so single stage. Concept. Our last car. The one we actually unlocked um, early in the game through doing like three stages or whatever. Mitsubishi Colt Rally Extreme. It's extreme. Well, it's extreme. 147 bhp front wheel drive. It's basically a sort of a 1600 class car, I guess. <coughs> Excuse me. All right. Well, uh, let's go to France because I want to do a tarmac stage because I like the tarmac stages. Uh, let's do Cody Shivari because it's the longest. This thing is cute. It's kind of cute, yeah. Pretty much Niles, yeah. Jeez, so, phew, boy, where do I begin? <laughs> I'll have to say, this game, probably not as bad as the experience I had with it, but... Uh, first of all, things I liked about this game, co-driver. Co-driver is easily the highlight of the game, because they actually gave him a personality, which is something that no other rally game does, except maybe like one other. Whoops. Uh, fucking... I don't know, I do like the, uh, like... The random, uh, like actually seeing when like your opponents retire, like actually seeing them either broke down or crashed on the side of the road, or like coming to a stop. That was really cool as well. Other than that, <laughs> boy, do I have problems with this game. Like, also, I like how they changed up the pace note formula to fit. Because it fits my preference of, you know, descending from 6 to 1 instead of ascending from 1 to 6. In terms of, uh, quick to sharp. Like, fucking... That being said, some of these pace notes are not very accurate, I have to say. Not not very accurate at all. Um, especially with, the, like, hairpins and shit. They're just like, oh, it's a 3 left or 2. No, it's a, it's a hairpin, my dude. Um, not like too many inaccuracies, but yeah. Of course, physics of the game, like I said, like I've been struggling with all the time. If you want to play this game and actually have fun, uh, keep the, at least the steering assist on. Uh, it's mandatory to have fun, pretty much. As much as I hate to admit that, but, or hate to, that that's the case, I mean. Um, and... Going to, like, the random events, I kind of would prefer if, like... Like, I know they have to be in, like, designated scripted areas for them to, like, not... Actually, I don't know what I'm saying. It, I, I understand that, like, you know, they're in random, like... They're random, but they're in specific scripted areas. But it's kind of annoying when you when I see, like, like this, like, the lines marking someone crashing into that tree, but no one's actually crashed into the tree. Kind of wish that shit was like not there if there wasn't somebody crashed there. Oh well. Also, another kind of letdown is the fact that you know only three stages per rally, four four maps, four if you count the uh, the rally cross stages. 
which is a shame. Um, which really is a shame. And it's like, you could argue that WC4, you know, they had six stages, but those were also reverses, like, but in actuality, they're like, yes, there are, you know, three stages and three reverse stages, but the reverse stages have, like, uh, alternate routes at, at some point, so it's not completely the same. Plus, the uh, super specials, which is another thing I wish was in this game with the super special stages. I would have taken super specials way over Rallycross, because the AI in Rallycross fucking sucks. Oh, they're so frustrating, because they're just not aware of your existence. So they will spin you out if you're in their line. And they will try everything they can to get in their line, because that's the line they're supposed to be driving, and they don't know that there's something obstructing that. And... And yeah, um... I don't know. I have more problems with this game than I do have, like, things that I appreciate about it. But... That being said... That was WRC Rally Evolved, and that was the Evolution Studios developed WRC series from 2001 to 2005. All five games are done now. I did it. I, I completed a whole series of things. Woo. Actually, it kind of feels nice. Um, is this the worst game I've LP'd? No. Um, nah. This is definitely better than a couple games I've LP'd, like Sonic Drift. Although it's very, it was very simple, you know, Game Gear game, which you know, kind of gets a uh, pass on that. It's not much to it. Um, I would even say this game's probably better than Corvette, like objectively. Um, I like Corvette more, uh, but I would say this game objectively is better than Corvette. Yeah, she is small. Um, but yeah, in terms of my favorite of the of this series of the Evolution WRC games, definitely WRC four. It's close between four and three, but I think, despite the fact that four has slightly less content than three in terms of stages, it does its content way better. Yeah, fuck this game. <laughs> I don't. I still am confused as like, cause like I've seen a lot of comments from people saying like this is the best rally game or this is like the best in the series, the Evolution series or what the best WRC game. What? <laughs> I don't understand. Like, okay, if you had the steering assist set to max the whole time, I I would understand that, but. They definitely play with assists on. But yeah, that was WC Rally Vault. So I'm going to end the actual, like, let's play segment, video, whatever you want to call it here. Um, for people watching this live, twitch.tv slash Rhino GT4, um, I'm going to end this part of the stream. We're going to move into the after hours, but for everyone watching the segmented version video of this, uh, thank you for watching this LP. I hope you got some enjoyment out of my suffering, because oh my god. And uh, yeah, I'll see you in the next Let's Play, which may or may be may or may not be another licensed game. Um, it's not gonna be WRC though, because I need a break from this from rallying. I think for a moment, but yeah, see ya.